Poppy doggo eyes. So we'll just put her purple collar on her. Uh, if you stay still for two seconds, little girl. The girl with the purple collar, she's just that settled dog that sits back, observes everything. And from what I know of Frank, he's very much the, the same sort of personality. And I thought they would just click. Lovely. Since arriving here in early September, it's been uh, very rewarding having Annie. I carted her everywhere I went. Oh, lovely pup. You couldn't get any better than that. And just got to really bond with her, and then she's come out of a shell, and then she's been going good, really good. It took me about three weeks to name her. I'm very slow at naming pups. So I called her Annie and that's uh, my late mother. Uh, was name was Annie. So I didn't know whether it was the right thing to do to start with or what people would think, but uh, that's where her name has come from and uh, we're going great. It's got a little tummy. I wonder if it's a mother. What an incredible animal, hey? Those spots are actually called rosettes and they're... Oh! Babies! Oh my God, that's bringing tears to my eyes. It's so beautiful. They're really young. Oh, the little kissy meow. See how close together the spots are when they're little? That's also to help with Camouflage, darker when they're little and they sort of spread out as they get older. And the spots are actually in a pattern that is unique to that individual, like a fingerprint. That was so cute, oh my god. They're fascinating to watch when they eat the bamboo. So they actually strip the leaves and roll it into like a cigar shape and then just bite down on it. So they don't chew, they just crunch down on it with their teeth and swallow it whole. Then they'll strip the comb down with their teeth because they've got really strong, powerful teeth and jaws. Strip off bits of the comb and they'll eat that as well. So they pretty much eat the whole plant. Most days they will eat between 40 and 50 kilos of bamboo. In winter when they uh, are putting on weight and they're coming into season, they eat a lot more. So they'll go up to 60, 70 kilos per animal per day. So it makes up a large part of their diet. Now I'll get you to hold him while I take that chick out. Oh my goodness. So he's nicely fed there. It's tubby little tummy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at the size of the bag. You've got to put it in. Oh, nice. Oh my God. Can you hear that? It's 84 grams. So when they hatch, they have their eyes closed. You can see this one starting to open its eyes. This little fluff ball is one of the first of 20,000 hatchlings this season. So in these first days after hatching, baby birds are incredibly fragile. They can't really thermoregulate. They can't modify their own body temperature. So in the first instance, one of the big jobs of the parent is to make sure that they're just right. Not too hot, not too cold, just perfect. Domestication has given dogs more than the ability to pick up on how we feel. It has also given them a way to pull in our heartstrings. Puppy dog eyes. Dogs make puppy dog eyes, or by raising their eyebrows to make their eyes look awfully big, um, in order to become more attractive to us. Dogs have a special muscle for making puppy dog eyes the levator anguli oculi medialis. This muscle is missing in wolves. When meeting a person's gaze, dogs often raise this inner eyebrow muscle, making their eyes look larger and more childlike. So it makes them look like babies, which is probably one of the reasons why we find it so irresistible. 
we tend to respond really strongly to that, but when my dogs give me the puppy dog eyes, I'm, I am pretty defenseless. We say they use their eyebrows on us. 